in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We will start off with public comment and we all let me see uh, okay yeah mr beaner uh today's meeting at uh, 10 o'clock uh doesn't say what it's about uh i don't know who does your agendas but the ag's opinion is that the agenda notice requirements not satisfied by merely posting the weekly schedule of the governing board and sets forth the time place of the meeting and who is particip participating? Rather, the notice must be specifically set for, for the purpose of the meeting and items of business. As I said, I don't know who does it, and I apologize if it's not you guys, but there probably will be a complaint filed on this one because this isn't the first time this has happened. Second one, uh, I think the budgets are starting this week. I've got a lot of them. I did a public records request on the 17th. They had to be turned in on the 15th. I've got a lot of my budgets have no numbers put to them for the budget officers or the budget the department's request. And that's up to you guys, the consequences if they're not turned in on the 15th. That's my last one for right now. Duly noted. And thank you for the comment. I would agree with you that Cherry Tree timber, stems and lumber thing could have been a little more descriptive. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, next item, old business, consideration and decision of minutes from the public uh, sessions lab from last week. Um, we've all looked, had a chance to review them, entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Motion to approve the minutes of last week. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. New business. We have no beer, wine, or liquor licenses before us today. Everybody's had a chance to review the payables. No comments or questions there. We have no cancellations or homeowners cancellations this week. The Chris Schwartz contract. Can you speak to that? Uh, yes. Uh, Tammy advised that we need a new contract for Chris Schwartz, who is going to be representing the KBAP case. And due to the type of case it is, it needed a different type of contract okay and, and who just produced, particular to this did case. we produce that contract or did um, you? we have help with legal with the verbiage and so that's what was needed okay. yeah is okay. it done yeah I, thought, I was just Sorry, thinking when i seen you it's like i forgot to grab one copy of you i'll get your copy i read it was like okay 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 so so you put that together for us Thank you. Yes. Okay. Any questions or comments? I read it as well. Okay. All right. Appreciate the work on that. And then the first interstate bank renewals. Uh, we had asked for further information, and I think that Commissioner Cassidy, you pursued that. What did they have to tell you? That's um, a solid waste and a sheriff's office um, loan. Lease. Than a, it's not a lease, is it? It's a lease. It's explain what kind of <laughs> the way I understand it. It's a kind of a lease. Um, it's not like traditional through first interstate. So they carry it for whatever period of time it is, like five years, say. Yeah. And they come up with a payment that would not represent the interest. And then every year you have to recommit that you're going to pay that and plus interest and that's what they bill us once a year okay and then we also have to do um i guess it's a resolution to show that we are funding it through our budget process and that's not the only ones that have required that columbia bank used to require that as well and they just show that yeah you committed funds to pay the lease for the coming year and I understand that this was a better deal than doing a traditional lease. They don't offer that traditional lease, but we got a much better interest rate on that. Good. Okay, so we're just renewing 
these older commitments from 2022. Okay. Any nope. questions or comments on that further? I left it over. Okay. Nope. All right. Would entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. All right. Oh, we have a chance, second chance of public comment. I don't want to pick Matt first. Okay. <laughs> Matt? Add uh, bid proposals, uh, bid build the cloud. Is that painting those walls, getting a truck, or is it timber clean, clearing? What? Fire mitigation. Is it what? Can I have something on here that says that? Oh, I yeah. see. You're saying. Okay. I thought you were asking. Okay. Oh. Bid proposals. Yeah. I also just came across this executive session for hiring the district board supervisor. I've heard word that they're being put out. And the last thing is, is I'm kind of curious who asked for the fee raises, who directed the prosecuting attorney to uh, look at these. Uh, where are you on the agenda there? It's not. It's not. It's not. You mean we, from last week? From last week. Somebody with authority, which I would believe that would have been the commissioner, because they're the only ones that can approve the fees, would have asked the prosecuting attorney to waste their time to put in it. Not waste, but to do it. I would assume that would have been the previous board. Asked to raise the fees last week? Asked to raise the fees. As far as that report that he produced, is that what you're talking about? He changed the fee schedule on some of the stuff. Somebody would have had to direct him to even do that. I would assume that he was assigned to do that before this board took. He's been working on that for. He's some been working time on now. that for several months. Was uh, what he what he mentioned. Thank you. Okay, I see your point. Okay. Uh, with that said, then we would, um, I will entertain a motion to move into executive session as per Idaho Code 74206D for the consideration of indigent cases. So moved. I'll second. Roll call vote. Here. Here. Yes. Here. All right. We'll let you know when we're done, Matt.